Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Mineral Workshop Working from home still Today is a project video so let's get stuck in So this is where I'm currently storing my wood if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I managed to pick up some timber finally I was in need of some, I'm storing it under my TV So I've got this, I'm going to pick a piece out of that I'm going to plane it down flat, most of it is so this is the piece that I'll be using which is already flat anyway so all I'll need to do is plane the edge here and obviously I'll need to flatten the back but it's just a bit of hand planing, I won't bore you with that footage. If you're interested on learning how to prep stock there are loads of videos out there but if you want me to make one I will do that separately and then I'll take you through the process of what I do to make a sign. It'll be a hand routed sign. Um, I don't have carving tools to do it by hand so the exception today is that I'll be using my palm router. <laughs> It's like 25 degrees, which is insane where I live. Not used to that. I'm gonna let this set up now. I'll probably try and leave it for 24 hours. I'm in a bit of a rush because I've got a deadline for this project because it's a birthday gift which is why I didn't um, release the gear station part two. I'm going to leave that set for as long as I can and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Okay good morning, the clamps have been taken off and the glue is nice and dry now. Just going to get a chisel, scrape all this off and scrape it off my bench because I was lazy and didn't get a rag. I do not like the leave the glue to dry and then scrape it off. Next time it won't be daisy, I'll just get a wet rag and I'll wipe it away again.
okay so I've left this to dry for a little while usually I would follow my template so pretend that my finger is the router bit and I would trace the letters but I'm going to try something different and what I want is to take out the background so almost invert it so the letters are 3D um, and I'm going to do the same for the dice so there'll be an area around the outside and then I'll blend that in then with some hand chisels so that's the plan I'm not sure how this is going to go because it'll be the first time I've done it invertedly apart from just small pieces that I've done in the past so fingers crossed it goes well. This is the bit I'm going to be using to start with. I've got these selection of bits. These are for CNC's but I'm just going to use them in this like I've done before on my other signs. So all I'm doing with Okay, so I've got the um, dice and the title. I'm now going to move on to um, the bottom half, but I'm going to need to change the bit. I'll be using this bit with a small point on there so I can get right in to the smaller letters. So we'll switch out the bit. This one is not going to be inverted so I'm going to go over the letters themselves and then I will be texturising all of the background but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Okay, oh, that was long, my back is in half, not good for the back, I need to do a stool or something for all this routing, I haven't done a sign in a while and I've forgotten just how much leaning over and trying to route ruins your back, so if you're going to do this, make sure you've got a stool. Anyway, this is what it looks like at the moment, got all the small letters done, the dice and the top, the gambler title. So I've just finished the majority of the sign up. Um, I've still got the paper on there. Just going to use the glue gun. Glue gun? <laughs> oh dear, that's not a glue gun. I'm going to use the heat gun. Um, to heat up the glue to peel it off that's the best way I found to um, get the templates back off it saves um, a lot of cleanup so we'll quickly do that and then we'll come back and clean up around these edges works really well um, you'll get the residue still on there so you'll still need to sand it um, because obviously it's still going to be sticky but you, it's much easier than trying to get through the paper with um, sanding it off so you let that residue dry and then you just sand over the top of it
So while the residue dries, now that we've got it all off, I'm going to get a chisel and take the bark off both edges. So the routing is all done now, this is what it looks like. So I've made the outline much thicker on the lettering and the dice, this will stay the same. Um, the next thing is to use my gouge and I've had a little practice already, I'm going to be texturising the back. By the time I finish this, I'll probably see you in 2021. <laughs> oh, sugar! Oh no, what do you do? I cut my hand. Uh, I've just noticed I'm spreading blood all over this. <laughs> um, really sorry that I'm contaminating your sign, but... I don't really know how I've done that. I didn't do it with a chisel. I must have done it on the edge of this somewhere. Maybe this bit. Oh. Bit of blood. Maybe add characters to the sign. <laughs> Gangster vibes of the sign, that is. I'm gonna go with it's smooth gold the reason I'm going for this is one because it's gonna be good for outdoors I'm not sure if this sign is gonna be undercover or not so that's the reason for going for this and also the sign is gonna be black and gold to really fit that um, edgy kind of pub feel so yeah let's go ahead and start painting I'm just gonna go ahead and paint these letters now I'm not sure if when the light shines on this because the whole background is going to be black I'm not sure if the gold is going to shine in these letters because they're so thin um, if it doesn't we can always come back and repaint it but I really want to try and have that gold shimmer inside this um, part of the sign so that's one trick I always use is a wet rag so I don't have to be really careful when I'm painting inside letters I can just 
put a load of paint in there and then quickly wipe it away with a wet rag. Good morning, the sign is now dry, I've still got a final coat of crystal clear um, lacquer, this is polyvine, I've used this before and I really liked it so I'm going to use that on this sign. Not forgetting my maker's mark, so I'll be putting that in the corner down here. And I'll wrap up this video, I'll leave you with some final shots once I've put the coat of polyvine on there. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.